Hello everyone, Clint here. I hope everybody is doing great today. Today I am coming at you with a video of the Unicorn Beetle Pro Rugged case for the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. I'm pretty excited about this, um, about this case here. Subcase always makes a great case for the Galaxy Watches. Uh, so I'm pretty excited what this is going to look like here. Let's see what we got in the box here. Uh, let's see, we got some cleaning cloths. And, oh, well, it even comes with uh, uh, some screen protectors for your watch, too. That's cool. I will probably not be using screen protectors because this baby has a nice, beautiful sapphire display which i'm pretty confident is gonna live up to my lifestyle but if you got a crazier lifestyle than me then feel free to throw that baby on there so let's get the case out and this looks like a pretty classic looking sub case that is absolutely beautiful look at that guy there huge um always huge the the sub case is probably the biggest cases that you can get for your galaxy watch uh, so if you're into some big cases, this one's going to do the trick. So this is pretty classic looking sub case here. I really like it. You got the, that nice, very, um, very distinct front over here. Gives it a really tough look. You got some full bolts over here. You got some little uh, stuff right here going on above the buttons. Just gives it a little bit of character right there. Uh, cutouts for the buttons. A little faux carbon fiber action going on right there. Uh, cut, uh, cutouts for that button here on the the left side you're gonna have another little faux carbon action there trying to give it just a little bit of a balanced look since there's no buttons on that side and this is going to be the cutout for the uh, rotating bezel so you can still use the bezel in this case um, i always say i'd really don't i really wish they could figure out a way to get the cutout for the bezel on this side of the case because it's always difficult for me to use it on the left side but they all seem to do that so there must be a reason must be a reason here on the side you got a little bit more of that faux carbon look a little bit of sub case branding right there not too bad here on the top you got that speaker cut out and some more faux carbon to, to match uh, the the band itself is an integrated band so this is all one piece so you only have to have this guy on so that's nice uh, i know some people like to use their own band with the case but this one has the own their own band so i do like that that way it's a nice even good look uh they all go together that's the way i kind of like it to go uh dual latches here dual cutouts here uh the plastic is going to be a little stiff not too not really that soft we'll see how comfortable that one is here on the back here you got those nice lugs uh, that will be able to lock this in place right here your uh your follower and then on this side right here, you have that faux carbon styling goes around here. You got one follower, which is usually good enough for these because that is a big, giant, uh, big, fat follower. So you should be okay. Your, your watch band shouldn't be coming off because that's always a bummer when that happens there. So then you get a little UB Pro action right here and double class for that. So underneath here, you just got some little grippers. This is what's going to grip onto the... The watch itself just friction held uh, but friction is perfectly fine for this here so let's go ahead and pull this band off of here and then we will get into uh, installing that so give me just a second stand by all right got that watch band off here so we're going to stick this in here i don't know if there's probably some instructions probably not let's not even worry about it uh, these ones are pretty easy we're just going to go in button first and then we're just gonna pop it in. There it goes, snaps right in. I think it's really important for a band or some kind of case to snap right in. Look at how dirty my watch is there on the bottom. <laughs> Whew, that is some, uh, some sweat and goober and all kinds of funk on there. Uh, but yeah, so you can see how that kind of lines right up with your pins right there. And that's kind of what holds this whole case in. You got some grippage coming over the backside right there. Uh, grippage coming over the side there. Let's take a quick look at, ooh, that's pretty even, uh, but you should, that sensor just pops out there, so it shouldn't have any problem against your skin. And let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks, oh man, this looks good already. I can tell just by looking at it. Let's put it on the wrist, give you guys a good idea of what this is going to look like. 
I always get that follower as far back as I can. I hate this little floppy thing. I don't know about you guys. But here we go on the, the back side. That's what it looks like on the back side. And then we're going to come across here and take a look at that. So I, of course, have the silver version of this watch here. Uh, this might blend in, obviously, a little bit better if you have the black version of that. Uh, but here we go. So first test is the bezel the bezel wow that works really good actually i can't feel any friction i'm not sure how they do that man you can see like it looks like it's touching but it must not be because this uh, bezel is working perfectly good here no problems but it is on the other side so if you're just pulling your watch up like you're like normal you got to kind of go over i do really wish it was right here this is just way more comfortable for me to spin this guy that direction right there so I don't know. We'll see. I definitely like how this is pretty low right here. So that bezel pops right out there uh, and it looks amazing. Look how tough that looks. That is, that is super, super, super nice. If you like this look, man, Subcase always delivers here. I got about a, I think it's a seven inch diameter wrist and it, it takes up that whole wrist. You can see right here, you got a little bit of gappage right there. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about that on a rock width band like that. But it pretty much takes up my entire wrist, as you can see there. It's filling up that whole wrist there. If I just let it sit here and relax and chill, you can see that is a chunker right there. <laughs> I've had, you know, most people don't comment on these pretty much, but I will say that on my uh, last Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, uh, I did get some comments on... Um, what the heck kind of watch watch i had because that is a big booger so let's take a look at the um the buttons here on the side uh this did they are pretty indented as you can see there you're definitely not going to accidentally push these that's going to get blocked here which is pretty nice if you're wearing like gloves or something like that or you know if you're doing a lot of wrist, wrist flexing and your job or your your fitness or whatever you're going to do uh, you're not going to accidentally push the buttons which is uh, a fantastic i guess byproduct of one of these types of cases and here you go you can, these buttons are easy to push no problem at all uh, your finger actually just kind of fits right in there nicely so you get right to the button both sides uh no problem at all these buttons are pushing really well let's see if Yep, got Bixby going here. We're not sure what Bixby does, but it's on here. There we go. And yeah, perfectly good and rugged. So you can see you got that cover. It's going to cover the front of your, your watch there. So if you're bumping it, hitting it on stuff like, you know, walls or whatever the heck you do in your life, your work, um, that's definitely going to help with that. Uh, to keep that, that this nice pretty bezel all pretty you know the galaxy watch 6 i think is probably the most attractive um smartwatch that i can think of uh, i've not really seen one uh even uh, better looking even the fossils i think it's better looking the fossils the only thing i think that might be a little better looking is that garmin mark series but that's a two thousand dollar watch so <laughs> uh, i've never had one of those so i can't really tell you because i ain't paying that much for a watch but there you go. It is looking great. So let's go ahead and take it off and let's see how hard it is to take out of the case because uh, if you're like me, you don't need this on 24 seven. You might need it for something very particular going for a certain look or you're getting ready to go do something uh, that's rugged and you need that coverage. Uh, so you might just take this on and off and then pop it off. So you want to, you know, go out on the town, you're going to switch that up, right? I know I do. Um, so we're going to go ahead and see how easy it is to pop this out and it should be pretty easy we just kind of push on it i usually go away from the button side and there you go pops right out of there and then you are ready to go do whatever you're going to do pops right back in when you are ready uh but yeah that looks fantastic i unfortunately i do not have a lot of cool watch faces that we can see what it looks like uh with it on there but well, let's, we'll go ahead and go through a couple let's go ahead and go with um the stock watch face, one of my favorite stock watch faces of all time. Uh, Samsung did a really good job on this watch face. I still love it. It's super, super classy. Uh, but that's what it looks like with a solid black, just a nice, clean looking watch face there. Um, let's see if we've got another cool one. This one's kind of cool here. I usually like these kind of watch faces too when I'm wearing these uh, rugged bands here. Uh, I think they look pretty cool. 
Uh, and then we got, let's see, I don't think I have any good big chunky ones installed on the watch right now. Here's a, here's a Bagazzi. There we go right there. So here's a nice big chunky analog one. So great looking. Uh, I know uh, probably a lot of these people, uh, probably a lot, a lot of you folks probably buy these for the protection, but you know, I, a lot of, a lot of us also buy them because of the look. So we want it to look awesome too. And so I always like to check how it's going to look with certain things. MD308 here, my favorite watch face. Yeah, that just looks awesome, guys. That is totally awesome. So, yeah, great. As always, super protective. Uh, this baby is not going to uh, mess up your watch. I, know, I noticed a lot of people uh, ask, ask me, like, if, uh, you know, sand or some grit can get in there. I'm guessing it probably could. It's pretty tight in there. I've never had that issue I live in the dry Colorado, so I, don't, I haven't I haven't really gotten the massive amount of sand or dirt or anything with any of my watch for for years now. So I've never had an issue um, with it scratching or any of that kind of stuff. But uh, that might be somebody else going to answer that question. But there you go, beautiful, love it. See you in the next one.